this is how the black community look, man. I'm tired of seeing this all over the world. I'm the only one with my natural hair, and I'm seeing all of these. Can I see y'all real hair, please? Please. Can I see, can I see, can I see Africa again? Like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> Where is my people? Where? This how the black community look, man. And let's be real, we gotta keep in mind with this whole hair thing. Cause I agree with the brother too. I actually follow him, he say some real stuff. Um, black women, for the longest been, since, I think what, since, since way back in the day, they've been told the hair ain't good enough. You know, back in slavery days, they've been told to cover their hair. Um, and then, of course, when they start perming it and straightening it. So they've been told that the hair ain't good enough. Um, I work, I used to work with women that, that um, used to perm their hair all the time, wear wigs. We know for a nice change up every once in a while, that's cool, you know, to throw on a wig or something like that. But there's an over-reliance on it. And to the point... Deep down, you know, I talk to some people, they be like, oh, no, it don't mean that. It don't mean we hate our hair. But you kind of hate your hair. You don't kind of want to deal with it. You know, our hair can be, our hair is coarse. It's, um, you know, it, it need to be, uh, what you call it? Our hair, we got type, uh, type four, uh, 4C, what they call it. It's more thicker. It needs more, uh, it, it need to be moisturized. You know, you got to hit the scalp. You got to hit the, uh. You know, I hit the, hit the spray. I know my, you know, my, sh my stuff looking on type of rough right now, but that's all it is. You got to make sure you put the right stuff in it. I heard like vitamin, uh, kind of like the homie said on the video, uh, vitamin D. Sometimes the sun, uh, they got stuff uh, for that, but we so, we so quick to cut it off. And, it, and, it, and it, I'll also say this too, uh, society mainly does that and we're not taught how to properly take care of our hair. You know, we're probably not taught how to keep it moisturized, take care of it, make sure it's looking good, smelling good. First thing we want to do is throw a wig on it. Because we idolize, we idolize other people's hair, right? To have the straight, to, to, to what's in it. Like I said, we all permed our hair before, we wanted it to look different, but we start loving yourself. And we talk about all the time. If you do it once in a while, but a lot of women, do that. Yes, I know other race women wear wigs, and I'm yeah, I know that. The Latin, I see a couple of Spanish and stuff like that. But but we know it's different when it comes to black women. We're not. I'm not shitting on that woman. He's not. Like I said, good for a nice change up. But to not like how your hair, our hair is different. We different than everybody. Our hair is thicker, it's coarse, it's it's healthy. It even goes like he says, it's connected to our senses and to our head. Like they say, our hair could actually. Um, our hair could actually, you know, sense things and we could feel things. Like, like it's, it's like, it's all connected to, to us. Like, how it works it, deeper than we even know. We just want to, we just want to change it all the time and, 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 and throw a wig on. Like, I usually think, you know, a person with a fro or, you know, just more thicker hair, how it naturally looks, it looks just beautiful. So, I'm going to continue to keep pushing for that. Anyway, like, share, comment below, tell me what you guys think. And I'll check y'all later.